Welcome to World History with Mr. Giesen. In this episode, we will continue our discussion of major change in Europe and how people started to question their leadership in their life, but more specifically, how agreed upon ideas began to be called into question. In our last videos, you heard about absolute monarchy and how it became a thing of the past. But what else were people thinking about? What changes led to the dawn of modern science and the scientific revolution? In the Middle Ages, when people questioned the natural world, they sought answers from traditional authorities. This was mainly the church until the mid-1500s. However, after that time, scholars began to challenge tradition as they began to think in new ways. One of the most agreed upon viewpoints was that of the geocentric theory. This means that the Earth was at the center of the universe and the Sun and other planets orbited around the Earth. This came from Aristotle in 300 BC and Ptolemy expanded on the geocentric theory a hundred years later. These beliefs were upheld by the church, which taught that God put the earth at the center of the universe. This was an accepted viewpoint for European intellectuals before the scientific revolution. The scientific revolution marked the time when people started to challenge traditional authorities. They asked questions, posed theories about the natural world, and developed procedures to test those ideas. In our last unit, we discussed discuss the age of exploration, but you know that this exploration led scientists to study the natural world. Explorers needed more accurate instruments and geographic knowledge to find their way into places they had never been before. When they saw people or animals that they had never seen before and had no explanation for, they grew curious on finding answers to these unknowns. One of the established processes that came from the scientific revolution is the scientific method. This was first developed by Francis Bacon and René Descartes. Francis Bacon, in the early 1600s, believed that the only true way to gain scientific knowledge was through experimentation. Descartes believed that everything needed to be questioned until proven true with reason and logic. The scientific method has five steps. The first is to identify a problem or research question to be answered. Second, form a hypothesis that can be tested. A hypothesis is a proposed answer to the research question and is based on previous knowledge. Next, perform experiments to test the hypothesis and then record the results of those experiments. And finally, you analyze the results of the experiments to form a conclusion that either proves or disproves the hypothesis. So what does this mean for us? In class, we'll be analyzing and evaluating who were some of the scientists during the scientific revolution and what was their impact on the world around us.